There are few, if any, known water saving farm techniques that are not being tried at the Stripling Irrigation Research Park in Mitchell County. As the Monitor's Rick Trepto reports, the park's annual field day let visitors see the new technology and production techniques firsthand. Well, at field day like this at Stripling Park, we hope our uh, clientele and our visitors get a feel for the type of research that goes on here. At the peanut plants, new varieties developed by researchers from USDA, the University of Florida, and the University of Georgia are being field tested. University of Georgia peanut agronomist John Beasley said they are doing the work after planting into a cover crop. Here, it is rye. In this particular case, because they have different growth habits, different seed sizes, different canopy architecture, we need to find out how they respond to irrigated versus non-irrigated conditions, particularly non-irrigated. Beasley added in Georgia, 50% of the peanuts are irrigated. His reaction to the ones here? We've had adequate rainfall here, so it's hard to tell the difference between the irrigated and non-irrigated. Now, we've had some dry stretches here, like a lot of South Georgia during the month of June, but we've had more recent rainfall and because of that, uh, it's hard to really tell a difference between the irrigated and non-irrigated. I guess if you look close enough, you might see some differences there. And there are 30 cotton, peanut, and corn farmers in Georgia that are using the most sophisticated technology, soil sensors. This one thing will read all the way down until about 18 inches deep. So we're taking these measurements, we're doing them in the middle of the rows. Uh, when I say in the middle of the rows, I mean in between the soft middles, dead center of the plant. Farmers often have to just guess on how much to irrigate or wait for plants to wilt. Soil moisture probes are new technology helping to cut that risk. Uh, the good part about it is they can call it up on the web 24-7 when they get a chance Sunday night before they decide which irrigation uh, system to start up. You know, they can call up each one of these probes, determine if they uh, are if, you know, in a critical uh, area of soil moisture or if they're close to field capacity and you know don't have to turn on their irrigation system. The demonstration sites have increased this year due to the Advanced Irrigation Management Project or AIM administered by the Flint River Soil and Water Conservation District. It's important for our growers to monitor soil moisture conditions to do a, the best job they can of monitoring uh, the plant conditions and the moisture conditions so that they don't overwater or underwater so that uh, the plant gets the optimal amount and the farmer doesn't have to expend you know resources financial that he wouldn't normally have to do more information on the soil sensors or other research at the irrigation park is available by contacting them at 229-522-3623 i'm rick trepto for the georgia farm monitor